Hi, Dr. Mark Brehenna here of AskTheDentist.com. So today I wanted just to unbox this. I ordered this, paid for it with my own money, $300 for a toothbrush. This is the middle of the line and um, uh, there are two features here that I'm very curious about. And so let's see what this baby can do. So here we go. We're going to unbox this thing. So as you may imagine, I don't know if possible, but I have about 40 toothbrushes in my bathroom right now. They're not all on the counter because I am married, still married. And so I only keep about three or four on the counter and, um, and I'm testing them continuously. So that's what I'm looking forward to here. The things that really got me when I saw the box were the smart sensors, pressure, location, scrubbing. In other words, it tells you how hard you're pressing. Oral B has a feature. I didn't really like it that much because it didn't come on soon enough. And the other one was, was the location of where I missed brushing. There, there are, um, probably accelerometers inside the toothbrush that tells us what angle. And so I'm very curious about that. It's been done before, but not very well. So anyway, first thing that I see is a little welcome card. I'm a guy, so I don't read instructions, but I will in this case. Make sure your handle's up to date by following these easy steps. It's probably needs a firmware update already. So we've got a little recycled material in here. Throw away the box. Important before first use, fully charge the handle. Unfortunately, I wish it was partially charged. Most toothbrushes come fully charged. When you open a brush, you probably feel like brushing. You want to test it right away, but I bet you that's not true. I bet you it does have a charge. Let's see if it does. Here we go. Oh, it does. Good. Okay. Um, so that's the brush head. Pretty typical. I've had Sonicare's before. There was a dentist model that they sold to dentists only, and it's very similar to this. Very smooth plastic. Um, it's got an interesting shape. It's a little slippery. It's like an iPhone. It's like a bar of soap. I think they want you to drop it and, and uh, break it. But anyway, uh, bronze bottom and top. It's got kind of a premium finish to it. Um, anyway, typical Sonicare so far. This is the middle of the line. So it comes with a certain number of toothbrush heads. I think the higher end comes with six um, heads. One's a tongue brushing head. And I always go for the soft one first, no matter what. But uh, we'll talk about this later. Okay, so this is similar to a model I've had before, except the case is bigger now. And this again is, I guess what they're trying to do is sell the Bentley of toothbrushes. Um, and, and I think maybe that's a little overdone, but so far this is interesting to me. Um, I, I'm a minimalist, so I don't like a lot of bulk, but this is kind of cool. You can charge your toothbrush while it's in this sarcophagus here, this little beautiful case. And I guess you can travel with it. And I've read that it has, it maintains a charge for about two weeks, which is about the average time that you're on the road. So that's nice. I love stowing away cords. All my appliances have these little features in the kitchen and I use them all the time. I store away my cords. I do not like cord clutter. Um, this is, looks like it's sealed against moisture. Anyway, so you can store your toothbrush in a beautiful little case and it charges. I believe there's an induction charging unit right here. So when you place the case in and if it's plugged into your iPhone charger, or whatever, your normal USB charger, this stored with two heads is charging away. It's okay, it's good. Is it worth $300? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, anyway, so the Bluetooth capability is what's important on this toothbrush. And I heard that it was very easy to connect. So I've already downloaded the app. Uh, the app is mentioned on the outside of the box. You can do that beforehand. It says to connect my device, push the plus sign. Let's get started. Three steps, three minutes, and you're on your way. Bluetooth device startup, account creation. I hate that part. Uh, is there a guest account that I can use? Probably not. And track your progress. Step one. First things first, let's check your Bluetooth device connection. Connect my device manually. It's checking right now. I'm just going to turn on the head, uh, the toothbrush. Nope, it's hiding. Try again. Have you ever had any problems connecting a device to your phone? Uh, it happens to me every single time. We'll come back to that. Um, cannot access my brushing data and ah, it says it was located. So I'm not sure if turning on the brush was important or not. It, it didn't say, but I didn't read the instructions. Um, connect to my brushing data. Okay, I think I'm connected. Now it's time to create your profile. 
Uh, I'm going to set up my profile. Of course, it wants me to link into Facebook, which I'm not going to do. I am going to create a Philips account. What are they going to do with my data? I'm not sure, but I'm going to put down my initials only. Um, MB, MB uh, I'm going to put down an email that I use for these kind of uh, account setups. And not as easy as it looks, right? I'm going to give them a pass word and they probably want, yeah, it's too weak, eight characters. How important is it to provide someone, to provide me safety of not someone else using my toothbrush? I'm not sure. That's, um, I don't know. That's a little weak. I'm not worried. If someone wants to hack into my toothbrush data, I'm okay with that. So I'm creating the account. Uh, I have to accept some terms and conditions as most of you do. I do not read that. Whoops, I did click on that. Okay, I'm creating my account. Was that three minutes? Probably. Okay, I have an account with Philips and I hope they don't share my poor brushing habits with the rest of the world. I've already verified. Now I have to confirm my email, so I'm not gonna do that uh, here. Uh, I'll just say I haven't received, well, no, I'm gonna say I've already verified, okay. So anyway, so I'm all set up. Um, I'm not gonna show you how that works, but I am gonna try the toothbrush now. And again, I've used Sonicare's before, but I'm gonna see if this is any different. That's the tongue scraper. This is a, again, they're not labeled. That's a G3 toothbrush. There is something different about this head, and these are more expensive. I checked on that. I don't believe it should cost $15 to buy a new toothbrush head because I believe in replacing them often. And I'm a once a month guy, but every three months is probably okay. This has a chip in it. So it communicates with the body of the toothbrush. So I just put a $15 toothbrush head on my $300 toothbrush. And I think you can buy an electric toothbrush for around $20. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, that's on there. I'm looking for the soft head because that is my go-to preferred head on any toothbrush. Soft is better because most of us overbrush. So I've got them all out here. They're not well labeled. There's a W3, there's a C3, and there's the G3. So what does that mean? Give it the old thumb test. There's the soft one. Okay, so I'm gonna try this now and see if it feels any different. Feels like a Sonicare to me, so not a big difference there. I think the difference comes in the Bluetooth connectivity and the, um, I'm looking forward to trying the feature that tells me that I've missed a spot. Now I'm a dentist, I visualize people's mouths, I'm in their mouths all the time, so I know all the nooks and crannies of the mouth. But, and I'll do this in a separate video, I'll show you, I'll share, I'll share my data with you. Uh, what if I'm missing an area? Now I see my hygienist, my hygienist who works in my office every six months, and she says I do a good job, but there's always an area that I could be better on. So I'm wondering if this toothbrush and the data that it gives me correlates to the data that I get from my hygienist. That would be very interesting. The other feature is pressing too hard. So let's try that. Let me just clean that. Okay, so it does make a different noise, but it doesn't stop brushing. Um, I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think the app tells you, a little light comes on that tells you you're brushing too hard. So, so when you brush with this toothbrush, you have to have an iPad or an iPhone in front of you. Um, if that's your thing, that's great. So this is a great toothbrush for someone who's very tech minded, who, who can really, you know, hack into this. I mean, the buttons are very interesting. There are only two buttons and most of the work is done on the iPhone on your app. And that I like because it's easier to control your toothbrush with this, but is that what it's come down to? Um, we need our iPhones now to control our toothbrushes and, and we have to spend over $300 to do that. So I find this very interesting. I'm gonna report back to you on it. And again, on those two features that I really am curious about, I'm gonna give you some detailed report on that. But anyway, here's the Bentley of toothbrushes. Um, uh, I'll let you know what it's like. So as you would expect with a high-end toothbrush, you've got some really high-end materials. This is a very high quality glass. Of course, it's got the Philips Sonicare brand name on it, but it's a very nice glass. I'd wanna drink a shot of whiskey out of this or, or some milk. Uh, what is the glass for? Well, it took me a little while to figure out, um, but it is part of the charging system. And again, this feels like it's metal. It's got a gold finish. Again, just high-end stuff here. They're just trying to dress up the toothbrush. It's the same toothbrush with different programming in it. 
Um, but that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not big on cords and plugging things in, as you can imagine, because I've got 30, 40 toothbrushes in my bathroom. But this is a kind of a induction charging system. And I imagine this is dishwasher safe. So, um, you know, once you get all the gook of toothbrushes in there and everything, I mean, toothpaste in there, it's going to be a mess. Well, great, put it in the dishwasher. This protects this so that doesn't get dirty. And then, of course, it's kind of a cool look. You, you can get a traditional charging base. This one's plastic and it sits upright in your bathroom. And that's fine for me, but I try and hide these things. Uh, most of my stuff, I have a, uh, all my charging plug cords are underneath and I have a drawer that pulls out and I charge my toothbrushes sideways. Okay, um, very nice and interesting, but um, um, do I need all this? I'm not sure I do. Um, we'll see. So the question is, here I have the Bentley of toothbrushes, at least I believe it to be. Glass, beautiful finishes, um, you know, just upscale everything. And also the Bluetooth connectivity. That's a nice feature. So anyway, getting from point A to point B in oral health care is just getting the job done. Will this toothbrush do anything more than that? And that's what remains to be seen. So I'm going to put this on my countertop and charge it and use it for the next two weeks. Um, I use uh, disclosing tablets. Um, I brush one side of the mouth with one toothbrush and use another toothbrush on the other side. I mean, I do a lot of testing. I also throw this out to some people at work that I know, some other dentists, and, and uh, so I try and be as practical as possible. And, and I do try and measure plaque levels and all that. But really, when it comes down to it, is this a toothbrush that I want to use? Is this a toothbrush that I really want to pick up and use? And and maybe I will. I mean, this I'm, I like the glass. So far, I like the glass. That's got a nice feeling to it. And I like just being able to put my toothbrush in there. Now, if they could just hide the cord, that would be great. But, you know, maybe I'll just charge it every two weeks and store it in the glass. So anyway, uh, I look forward to giving you my review of this toothbrush and uh, letting you know if $300 is worth spending on an electric toothbrush. So if you want to see the full review of this toothbrush, subscribe to this channel and uh, you'll get all the details in about two weeks. Thanks for watching.